in microbiology <clears throat> let us look at uh, the chapter flagellate protozoa so flagellate they have divided into flagellates 1 and 2 in flagellates 1 that's what we will look at now they have shown the uh, intestinal oral and genital flagellates and in the next we will look at hemoflagellates okay so we are discussing only the intestinal oral genital flagellates now first of all the classification based on habitat okay you can also based uh, classify them based on uh, kingdom phylum and all that but here we will look at based on habitat if they live in the small intestine giardia lamblia large intestine you have enteromonas hominis etc cecum again large intestine right colon again large intestine right mouth you have trichomonas tenax ileocecal region you have penta trichomonas hominis and in vagina and urethra you have trichomonas vaginalis blood dent tissue you have leishmania and trypanosoma okay that's why it's called hemoflagellates i think blood okay so leishmania trypanosoma blood hemoflagellates these are these one these are intestinal and genital flagellates you have giardia lamblia and trichomonas vaginalis these two are very important for exam okay let us see what else is important in this chapter giardia lamblia morphology you can just look at this for now details we will come later okay you have sucking disc nucleus central karyosome flagella parabasal body the same thing in lateral view sucking disc nucleus flagella which is in it there are four pairs they are saying one pair here one pair here one pair here another pair here parabasal bodies this line is the ano axoneme axoneme this is the cyst you can see a thick wall axoneme is shown here four nucleus are there four nucleus will have central karyosome you have sucking disc okay then you have life cycle life cycle life cycle of giardia lamblia we have to learn trophozoites they multiply by binary fission cysts they are in cyst they are passed in feces so on and so forth duodenum they where do they where's the habitat duodenum and jejunum small intestine parts initial part of small intestine right then we will read the lab diagnosis of giardiasis the next thing we will learn in this chapter trichomonas vulvo vaginalis caused by trichomonas vaginalis this is the trophozoite i think so this is the disease itself it's caused by what let's see trichomonas vaginalis is the name of the protozoa lab diagnosis that's all for now see you in the next video bye bye